Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to do five more games to add to your Amiga Mini. This time it's five spooky games. Games with a little bit of a spooky horror twist to them. They're not all going to be horror, you know, scary horror, but um, you know, something that would come from like a B-movie or something and hope you enjoy the list. So without further ado, let's get on with the first game. Okay, game number one, we have Dark Seed by Cyber Dreams. Um, now HR Geiger was involved in this. He is the guy who's probably best known for creating the alien in the alien movies and you can tell that he's been in touch with this because you know, there's some creepy alien looking stuff all over the graphics on this um, okay so on to the review which is from Amiga Action got graphics 96% sound 90% playability 90% difficulty spot on and it says Cyber Dreams have come up with an absolute masterpiece of a game that is going to be hailed as a classic within a very short time I could really not find anything that could be faulted so there we go Ring an endorsement. Getting HR Geiger to do the graphics with an inspired move. It works beautifully and you'll have to buy this to believe it. 93% overall. Yes, Dark Seed is an adventure game. So, um, you know, you should be used to the way it kind of works. And yeah, it looks really good. It looks very interesting. I'm definitely going to put this on my mini and I'm definitely going to have a go at this one. And so it's not one I've ever played before. Probably when I had the Amiga, I was a bit too young for this kind of game. But yeah, it looks amazing and I will be checking it out. Let me know in the comments if you played it because I'd be really interested to know what you thought of it. And it's definitely a good start to this spooky games list. Okay, second up we have It Came From The Desert. Not so much of a spooky game, but it's obviously based on a kind of 50s B-movie idea where you get giant ants roaming around this town. It can get a bit creepy sometimes, you know, like when you turn up into a, a sort of like deserted location and the creepy music starts kicking in and you, know, you don't know if there's going to be a huge ant coming after you. I always find this game really difficult because there's kind of a lot of a time mechanic basically on it and if you do get injured by the ant you go to hospital and you've got to try and escape the hospital without the nurses seeing you and if you don't then you lose a lot of time it's it's quite pressurized in that sense Amiga Action as you can see from the review gave it 91% which is great excellent score 96% for graphics and 95% for sound this guy Doug says if you thought that Rocket Ranger was about as good as cinema where it was going to get then it came from the desert is here to prove you wrong graphics are about the same standard and the sound is really atmospheric the gameplay, however, is slightly better than in previous CinemaWare games, with a lot more to both see and do. Buy this game at all costs. Now, I'm pretty sure a lot of you have played this game before. It is a classic, and uh, it was on one of my earlier lists, and a no-brainer to add. And there's also an expansion pack, Came From The Desert 2, Ant Head, so even more value to be had. Definitely check this one out and add it to your list. Okay, next up we have another adventure horror game called Personal Nightmare by Horrorsoft. And this one scored 84% in whatever the heck magazine this one was. I really don't remember actually what magazine this one was because I had a bit of a trouble finding one of the reviews for this game. But anyway, it says, uh, like the ST version, Personal Nightmare is a great adventure and shouldn't be missed by those who like typing in things rather than wibbling their joysticks, okay? Yeah, so it's kind of like a, a text adventure with graphics, if that makes sense. I guess you've got to type in your commands, which is a bit different to like, you know, the point and click style adventure game but it's by the same people that made, El made Elvira which was on my list the last video I released and it looks very good it actually in one of the comments up there it says should this be an 18 certificate game so and eek it's scary <laughs> I don't think they've scared, spelled scary right but you know it sounds very good it's played in a darker room at dead of night personal nightmare can certainly send a chill or two down the spine there are some quite horrific happenings and the game is certainly not recommended even by the authors for children so there you go, definitely one to check out. Again, let me know in the comments if you've played it because I don't actually have any experience with this game, but it does look very good. And a lot of people haven't recommended this game to me when I told them I was doing a spooky games list. So definitely, if you haven't played it before, check this out. If you have played it before, you'll know if you're gonna put it on or not, I'm sure. Next on the list, we have a game called Waxworks. And this is a nice long three page review where it scored 91% from Amiga Action. So another very good game. Graphics 90%, sound 84, playability 91%. And what do they say here? Instantly recognizable as Horrorsoft creation due to its high quality graphics. So again, it's one of the it's one of the Horrorsoft games, they're the ones that made the Elvira game. So yeah, that you can tell they're made by the same people actually. And um, the style of game. It looks very good though, doesn't it? Here we've got pictures at the top here. I'm assuming this must be a few character deaths. <laughs> that looks a little bit graphic, doesn't it? 
<laughs> so we're definitely in the right territory with this game. He says Waxworks, like all graphic adventures these days, arrives on a lot of discs. 10 floppies, wow. Will drive you absolutely crazy if you haven't at least got an external drive. Thankfully, with an external disk drive, thankfully, with an external disk drive, swapping is minimised quite extensively. It says, of course, a hard drive is by far the most effective way of playing the game. It won't be a problem for us. Let me know again if you've played this in the comments below. It looks really good, and I'm definitely looking forward to giving this one a try. And finally, on this list, we have Zombie, and this is a game I have played. Uh, it seems very much like um, it almost like wants to be day of the, uh, sorry Dawn of the Dead. Even in the review, I, I went by the review then. I knew it was Dawn of the Dead, but in the review, they said look based on the infamous supermarket scene in cult movie Day of the Dead. Well, it isn't Day of the Dead, is it? It's Dawn of the Dead. That's the supermarket or the, the the mall. So they kind of got that one wrong. But it says zombie puts you in the unfortunate position of an ordinary person who runs out of fuel while flying their helicopter lands on top of a zombie infested shopping arcade. If you like it or not, you have to hunt through the shopping mall searching for objects to help you siphon petrol from a conveniently parked petrol truck. So it does sound very similar to the plot of Dawn of the Dead, because I'm pretty sure they're trying to get a helicopter going on the roof and they're trying to siphon petrol out of a truck. <laughs> so they've definitely ripped that little plot off there, haven't they? Uh, it's made by Ubisoft, so it's a very early Ubisoft game. You only got 69 for sound, 84 for graphics, 88 playability, 89 for last ability, 85 overall. And this is a Commodore user, I'm guessing, because it's CU Screen Star. So that's pretty good. Pretty good review there. And uh, yeah, I have played this game. It was a lot of fun. I don't think I ever finished it, to be honest. But um, I do remember it being very much like Dawn of the Dead. And I absolutely loved that movie when I was younger. So it was definitely, definitely a very good game. I enjoyed it. And another good entry to the list. All these games have been good ones haven't they you know i haven't played a couple of them but they all scored very highly so uh, it's not a bad list this is it <laughs> he says as he creates it himself okay guys thank you so much for watching this video i really appreciate your support in the last few weeks and uh, my videos have been doing so so well and please do keep the comments coming and um, share with your friends if you know they're into this sort of thing and if you're not on the channel already don't forget to throw a subscription and um, like the video that really helps as well and uh, don't forget to tick the notification bell as well if you want to know when new videos are releasing we're a day away from the mini coming out as i'm recording this so and um, once i get my hands on the console itself i'll be recording some videos and putting them up probably about using the interface and doing the whd load thing and everything so um, if you're interested in any of that please do keep watching and yeah i'll have a lot of let's plays probably now we've got access to the console i just so i'm so excited i can't even tell you i'm absolutely buzzing yeah, if you've got any comments don't forget to leave them down below if not you can send them to the social media addresses that are on the screen and once again i say thank you so much for watching been absolutely awesome the last few weeks and uh well over the years if you've been with me for even longer than that i've been going for three and a half years now so <laughs> coming up for four years soon actually which is crazy thank you for your support hope it continues and i hope we continue to have our dialogue in the comments because i really do enjoy talking to you guys okay take care everybody thanks for watching i'll see you on the next one bye for now